way, we're just gonna just simply roll it in, uh, which is this part right here. I'll show you right here for pattern three on this one. So this right here, cool. And what that's gonna do, click on this part, is just bring it into the introduction of a new sound, and also you know starting to get into the actual melody that I'm making. So that's what that does. And we're just going to go ahead and add that wherever I had it before. Cool. All right. So that's all we're going to do for that pattern. We're going to go ahead and move on to pattern four and add a hat, just a basic hat. We we'll use hat two for this. And go ahead and bring it. And all I'm doing is left clicking and holding it down and dragging it over there. All right. So for this, all we're going to do is just add the hat sound and then we're going to go in and actually reverse it so you hear that sound. So we're going to go into here, click on SMP and then down here, little button just says reverse. So you can see what it's doing down here. This is the sound waves or whatever you want to call it. It's, this is a tss and it fades out. Instead, we're going to make it st basically. That, that's what it's going to do. So what you also notice it's it's a delay. It doesn't hit right away because it's taking all the the backwards notes that you don't actually hear that well, and that's what it's starting to play first, and it finally hits the loudest part, which is later. So you want to put that a little bit before where you actually want the end of it to be, if that makes sense. So end of it meaning the high part or the the climax of you know right before you hit the drop in a whatever song genre you're doing. <laughs> Alright, on pattern 5, we're going to go ahead and get the, the a snare that's going to be in the background just constantly hitting. So we're going to use the same snare that we used previously. And for this, actually, we're going to go up into this little box right here, which we haven't messed around with yet. But we're going to break that up, and once you start messing with it, it'll drop first. So now it's just 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we're back up to 4 where we started, which is the default. But we want it to be up to 8, so I'm just using the scroll wheel. You can also click, hold, and drag up. But I'm going to just hover over it and then scroll up. So now we're up to 8. The first thing I did was just every four steps. You know, you can just hear it. Very simple. The only last thing I did was just add a couple of, a couple of off beats to just, you know, add a little bit of dimension. Alright, so I'll click that, and then I'll click these two. So this is exactly what we have. And all I did was left click, turn it on, right click, turn it off. Alright, so now we got the exact same thing. Very simple. Alright, for pattern six, we're going to go ahead and add in a piano roll for the Orion. Alright, so this one's going to be very simple. All we're going to do for the orange string, right click and go to piano roll. So now again, we're in the piano roll. Cool. We're just going to use all full notes. Make sure you're up here at the paint brush. Go ahead and click that. And we're just going to go in, make whole notes all the way across. Again, keeping it simple. We'll use C5 and then we'll just go ahead and bring it down to A sharp and then over. And we're going to go ahead and up until now we've only used this first four measures, but we're going to accompany that snare where we used an eight, except this time we're doing the piano roll. Alright, so again, it's just a simple melody that's going on right here. Go ahead and hear that. Cool. 
Alright, so we didn't do anything special to it. The orange string, same thing, same effects. We have that gross beat and that fruity phaser, which we added in a little earlier in the same tutorial. Alright, so now we're ready to move on to pattern 7. And I'm just doing this by pattern to make it hopefully less complicated instead of jumping around, which I feel I did a little bit last time. But whenever I'm working on you know, a different track, I will listen to it in the regular, the whole song, and I'll hear something randomly that I just don't like, and I'll go in and jump around and do it. But for a tutorial's sake, it's a little complicated to do it that way. You'll be just clicking through all these screens like, what's this guy thinking? So I, I'm just trying to do this pattern by pattern to make it simple, but I'm also explaining what I'm doing as I'm doing it. And hopefully that works out for you guys. If it doesn't, you know, just feel free to let me know. I'm sure you will. All right, so for pattern seven, we're gonna go ahead and add a, a DNC crash over here. So go ahead and left click, drag that over into there, and we're gonna do another reverse. So it's gonna sound like this. Left click, reverse. 